2016 was a year. That's the best description I can give of it. Anyway, hey, so uh, every once in a while, people uh, make those videos about uh, the best things I got of the year, and um, I like doing those. So, um, so yeah, uh, my top 16 Transformers of 2016. I didn't know how to introduce this video any other way. I literally pressed for time. Uh, so yeah, uh, I bought a lot of figures, so let this be known that some were hard to find. Uh, like, hard to pick between. In fact, while writing this list the other day for just putting the list under the camera, it changed. It, I, I Like, there was one figure I sent there, I was like, yeah, I don't know if it really is that good. And uh, there was some, like, figures that I was like, yeah, actually, you know, this is pretty good. Better than what I, this. Um, so, once again, I always have honorable mentions, and this year I'm doing something different. You'll see what it is in a moment. So, let's get... To, let's get on to it. Let's 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 start. Let's let's get let's let's get going. Sorry, I had to adjust the camera. If you know a different, notice a difference. So, let's just wait. Like I said, honorable mentions. First up, something actually pretty cool. G1 Six Shot. Um, he's missing his weapons, but honestly, he's pretty cool. And you know, it's kind of weird that I don't actually know don't know how to transform this guy. If you want figuring out, really know 100% how to transform this guy. What has this world gone to? Mr. Joseph Powell from across the pond sent me this guy. I, I bought him. Uh, Darker Moon Single Prime. I really like this guy. Um, pretty cool, actually. Uh, I accidentally broke his, uh, his leg. Oh, well. But, nice looking guy. This was actually top 16 for a while. But then I thought about a different figure that I got was actually a little bit more fun. I like the helicopter blades. It's a movie evac. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this guy, and I really like this mold. It's actually pretty cool and very, very nice. Actually, I, I really, I really enjoy this this figure right here. So there's that. Here's a tie because basically they're almost the same thing except for they're not the same mold. Uh, they are Crystal uh, Prime. First edition Optimus Prime from Transformers Prime, and the Dark Energon Optimus Prime. This was uh, I bought this off of Joe Powell. I found this on eBay for relatively cheap, and yeah, I keep this in the box. I have opened them up before, but I keep this in the box because one, I don't have a place to put it. Number two, it just looks nice in the box. And yeah, this guy, um, uh, he, he's a guy, all right. Guy, I feel bad for this one because uh. <laughs> I don't know where I put it, so I just, I had to make do with what I got. Uh, this was sent in by a friend. G1 Swindler. Uh, sorry, I, I genuinely don't know where I put it. I packed everything up, ex except for today. And while looking for all this stuff, I could not find them, even in the G1 box, but, so I just gave up. So, G1 Swindler, sent in by my good pal, Shockwave 514. Um, glad they finally made, I'm glad there was a, a, a DeLorean Transformer. Sorry, I couldn't find it! Speaking of things that I got from other people, whether it was free or I bought it off of them, and Dark of the Moon Voyager, uh, Starscream, not an actual figure, it's KO. Uh, yeah, bought this off of, uh, Max Ross Linden for five bucks. Nice steal, in my opinion. I, I really think this is good, really good for five bucks. Really nice, really, really cool. So yeah, there's that. Hey, Thunderhoof, you know, fucking, you know, fucking Thunderhoof, you know, Miss Father Fucker, fucking Thunderhoof. Uh, speaking of robots in disguise, hey, look, it's, it's better Windblade. It really is. It's really a better figure than the Generation one. Uh, I definitely painted her up, uh, customized her a bit to make her look good. I gave her hands. I, you know, shit. I even painted her butt. You can't see. I painted her butt. It was a weird experience. But yeah, even her, yeah, even her face. I did a little bit of work. Yeah. So uh, just what shows what little paint could be done. Hasbro. Fix your shit. It's nicer. It's better than Generations, in my honest opinion. Speaking of more robots in disguise, um, obviously, uh, this was the year one of my favorite characters, uh, was introduced on the show. Uh, my favorite character from Prime, at least. And I'm glad they gave him justice. Starscream. So yeah, uh, really nice. Couldn't put him on the top list. I really wish I could, but he looks really nice. Just look at this guy. Look at him. One last guy from the Robots in Disguise line. Motherfucking Bisque. 
Bask. I don't need a reason. I really don't. Ah, remember Combiner Wars? Me neither. But hey, this guy was pretty cool, right? Actually, yeah, this is the only Combiner Wars figure that's a combiner piece that I actually didn't separate. Didn't just go ahead and just say, oh, I like the Fensor better now. Eh, Groove. Honestly, a good figure on its own. Ah, one of my one of my favorite characters. I finally got a good figure of him, and a figure that eh, almost works. G1 Astro Train, whoops, and Titans Return Astro Train. Uh, I've always had a problem with this one because of the train mode, but um, in hand it actually isn't that bad. And I really like the robot mode proportions and everything. G1 Astro Train is just the most actual. <laughs> I hate saying this, like my favorite Astro Train, because it gets everything that I like about Astro Train right. Except for the fact that it's got barely any articulation. I just like aesthetic over uh, articulation for Astro Train. I don't know, something weird about me. Here's the Legends guy. Right, here's Wheelie. I don't want to rhyme. I'm only throwing this guy in because I did that review in the hot tub. I did that on vacation and my family was in the other room. It's very awkward to make. But goddamn was it fun. Oh shit, I found another Robots of Disguise figure. Ground Pounder! This guy actually... I love him! He's, he's, I love small little Transformers. I, I love him. But I love Legends. And I just love this little guy. He's, I, I love him. He's actually really cool. I, I, I don't know. Oops. I'm putting this on the list because it pisses you off. And I actually really like this. It's the, um, my, the, uh, not Michael Plays. It's the, uh, Transformers Accessories Bazaar Astro, uh, not Astro Train, Blast Off, uh, kit. Fuck the rest of you who hate this thing. I really like this. You know, give a shit. Anybody thinks that actually was fun. Of course, Blast Off showed up and then, you know, kind of got trumped over it. But hey! It was fun while it lasted. And the last two things, they're the same mold. Brainstorm, or. I just like them. I don't care what anybody thinks. This is actually pretty cool. And I really like this. So those are my honorable mentions. Let's get going! Number 16 is technically two figures, but through a little bit of customization, I figured out how to make them one. Now, one of them I found for $5 on Hasbro Toy Shop due to the fact that they just had too many of them and they wanted them out of their factory, and the other one was $5 because, well, it was sold everywhere for 5 bucks. And together I made it a $10 figure, I think. And I definitely technically used another part from another figure, and that cost it. <laughs> Let's forget about that. It is Generations and Titans Return Nightbeat. So yes, I actually found the Generations Nightbeat for five dollars on the Hasbro Toy Shop eBay, and I thought, why not give it a shot? And I really enjoyed it. Then I figured out how to do the Headmaster thing. Granted, I had to go get a another piece. There was something on Shapeways that. It was uh, that could allow this, but I didn't want to wait that long, and it costed actually a little bit more to just get a small little piece smaller than my pinky toe, my pinky's thumbnail. So I decided against that. Luckily, I had a figure that I was cannibalizing already, so I just used the little uh, headmaster uh, connect point and gave this. And honestly, I really like this thing now. I think it's actually really cool. And I use this little drill. I painted it yellow. And <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I really like this. And uh, I'm glad I put a little effort in it because now it's my special little baby. Yeah, I don't like it anymore. Number 15 is, it's a tie because it's the same mold, remold of one. Mario War Starscream and Generations Jetfire. Um, I bought Jetfire because I watched Brian T Fan Page 101's review on it, and I was like, "Yeah, I kind of want this." So I bought him. He, he looked nice. He looked neat. So, eh, whatever. Um, so yeah. And then I found this at a flea market, and I was just like, "It was it was ten dollars cheaper than finding it at Wal." No, oh, it's like fifteen bucks cheaper. And I was like. Yeah, why not? I like this mold, so get this. I like Starscream, so yeah. So those two. Now they're now they now they're friends again, and then they kiss. Then they kiss. I always keep seeing Skywarp everywhere, and all those Skywarp's my favorite Seeker. Never really. 
Sign up and got out and won by one. I don't know why I'm making him kiss still. Number 14 goes to a figure that came out five... Five years ago. Jesus Christ, I'm old. Anyway, it came out five years ago under my favorite movie. Dark of the Moon and I I found this at the same flea market I was talking about with uh, Starscream. And I will put... Um, toy. Uh, fuck, what were they called again? Look, I'll if I'll put it in here. I, I can't remember the name right now, and I'll definitely put their Facebook page in the description below because those guys are nice. They're always nice whenever I come by. So give them uh, a like or something. Uh, you'll find where they're from. Anyway, it's the Dark of the Moon Ironhide. Um, I bought it because I always wanted one, but I really wanted the red one, the Cannon Force one, that was in the. GDO line. Unfortunately, that never came out around here, and now it's worth hundreds of dollars on the eBay. Anyway, so I got this one to try it out, and I fucking love this thing. Like, oh yeah, him flashing his penis at you, uh, that's just charming. Him just, I don't know why, I just love that, and like the gun thing. I almost forgot this gun thing existed, and uh, then I also remembered the fucking knife thing he has, and, like, it didn't come with a missile, and I don't care, but just, like, the fucking thing. This figure's awesome. Oh, oh, <laughs> whoops. Oh, it's a gun. Oh, this is cool. I'm <laughs> just discovering this thing. Oh, I, I fucking love this thing. I, I really do. Go, go get it if you haven't. Like, there's just so much fun in this thing. I love you. Number 13 um, goes to another figure in the arms Micron line. I think it's a... Uh, I don't know. Ironhide didn't really prove to me that it was a really successful line with all its arms and stuff. But the figures themselves are great. So, I wanted a mold I never had from Prime. Because well, it wasn't ever sold here, technically. But, I wanted a, uh, a mold that everyone... Uh, here in America, really missed out on. But it was the one I was getting. I don't know what I meant. Arms Micron Spur. Uh, I've always wanted the breakdown mold, and now here he is. I got this for cheap, and I've almost decided, almost debated buying another one, just to make him break down, because this is just straight up breakdown, just in Sword Colors. Which is weird that this thing's cheaper than, like, actual breakdown, and all you have to really do is just find a replacement head for Sword. And paint them up, and you got them. I guess people just are lazy. Then again, I am too. So I really shouldn't be saying too much, because I haven't done it yet. Anyway, Swerve. I really like the mold, and um, I like the color of this. And I really I really enjoy Swerve. He just is a really nice figure. I love him. I, uh, and he also has this little slob blade thing. And this is an Arms Micron that I actually like, because, well, one, it didn't break on me. But also, it's just... It's... It, it, I don't know, just like the idea that this is, uh, what would be quote-unquote the counterpart to Breakdown's gun, is a saw blade. I don't know, I thought it was interesting. So, yeah, swerve. Number 12 is a figure, I, I think, uh, 2016 was just a year that I wanted to try things out. Breakdown, Ironhide, Jetfire, Nightbeat. You know, this whole list is just things like, I just wanted to try it out. Then again, every year I've done something. But this, just, this seems like the theme this year. Along with another theme, you'll see in a minute. Um, it goes to, well, yeah, technically. It goes to iGear Starscream. So yeah, I found this at the same flea market. People are really surprised that I found this at a flea market. But yeah, iGear Starscream is really cool looking. And uh, I wanted to give, I wanted to try this with like, um... Some uh, figures that I want to try out. Uh, some of the make toy stuff. Uh, are they on this list? You'll find out later. Um, so yeah, Starscream actually fits really well with um, Ryder. Not Ryder Despertron. I don't have that guy yet. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, but um, Striker Madness, because this actually really, it really fits him. It's just the same size, roughly, and I really love the look. The only problem I really have with this thing is this. And it's hard to, like, sit him down because either he's going to do this or if you, well, every every time I put him on the table, he always just slouches back. 
So yeah, Starscream is really cool, and I really, really like the guy. And so yeah, and uh, I just wanted to try out Starscream, although I could have just tried this out with Skywarp first, but I don't know. Um, yeah, this year was basically the year of Starscream. I, I just really like Starscream this year. You know, there's the Robots in Disguise one, there was that Leader Combiner Wars one, I gear Starscream. I just, I really like Starscream. I guess this is the year I figured out Starscream is my favorite uh, Seeker instead of Skywarp. Oh boy. Number 11, I felt like would be a great disservice to the characters if I didn't put them together. Rewind, Chrome Dome. I. Gay robots are gay. Uh, yeah. But I actually genuinely love Chrome Dome. Uh, I, I actually was. I, I bought it for 20 bucks. I loved it that much, and I really needed it. I really wanted it. So, yeah, I I actually really like Chrome Dome, and Rewind isn't bad either. It's actually really cool, and yeah. So, but if I had these individually, I, I don't know. I would definitely like Chrome Dome a lot better, and this would probably be in the honorable mentions. But, since, you, know, you know, since they're, you know, they're fucking gay, I had to put them together. I love, I love, I love, I love gays. Gay robots. I'm not gay, by the way. Number 10 goes to, once again, figures that share a mold. Man, I just bought three paints and three molds. <laughs> it's uh, Generations and Reveal the Shield, Wheeljack, and Trax. Yes, I I've always wanted Wheeljack, and in fact, this year I became a really big Wheeljack fan. Don't know why. Um... Uh, and then, uh, Trax. Uh, I, I just wanted a Trax figure because, uh, I've always had to use the Age of Extinction, Age of Extinction, that sounded like a better movie, Age of Extinction, um, Hotshot, that obviously is supposed to be Trax, but whatever. So, yeah, uh, now I got a better Trax, and I got a nice Wheeljack. He's alright. I, I don't think he's the best Wheeljack, maybe because I have the masterpiece of it. But, honestly, he's alright. Good representation of the G1 one. Yeah. Number 9 goes to... This. The sword. It's a nice figure. It transforms into three parts because... It's a sword. Obviously, the sword goes to something, and that is... Oh, goodness! San Diego Comic Con Fortress Maximus. Yes! Uh, I didn't go to San Diego Comic Con, but uh, at work one day, I was sitting there and I saw this guy on sale for, on Hasbro Toe Shop for roughly uh, 30 more dollars than the, you, uh, the regular retail version. This was without shipping and handling and taxes and all that stuff. But I still sat there and I was just like, hmm, you know, if I'm going to buy Fortress Maximus, might as well get the, the nice looking one, the better version of it. And, uh, Got this guy. He's all right, honestly. I think I prepared. I I, I hate my I hype myself too much for this figure. And when I got it, and I was just like, hmm, he's okay. Um, he is the biggest transformer I have. Biggest tra one of the biggest transformers ever at all. The thing keeps dinging. Whatever. But yeah. Uh, so Fortress Maximus. Really, he's all right. And he's pretty cool. Not my favorite figure, which I really hoped was the case, but oh well. Also, I always have this problem. His head comes off when you push the button. The fuck's up with that? I'm just gonna let him sit here. The rest of these figures are just in a pile. Or a box. I'm gonna let this guy sit here for a while. Anyway, so number eight goes to uh, a Titan Master, or a Headmaster. But it didn't come out this year! It is Generations Brainstorm. Uh, I've been intrigued by this figure for quite some time now, and I've always sat there and it's just like, one day I'm going to give this a shot. And um, I guess all the hype around the Titans Return Brainstorm was making me like, ooh, I need this guy now. And I uh, found, uh, found this guy for 25 bucks, and I really like him. He's pretty cool. Um... I got some I got some problems with him. Uh, his his hand right here is wobbly. Don't know why. 
Uh, but the rest of them is just so nice looking and everything. I will say that the headmaster thing is the prob is a problem, but hey, here we go. I do want to show this. I didn't realize this until I got home with this guy for a week or two. That I realized his headmaster. My focus. focus is um. Come on, focus. If you can barely see. He, uh, one of his eyes isn't painted. So, there's that. But overall, all that, all that aside, I really like Generation Brainstorm. Number seven is, once again, just to figure I wanted to try the mold out. I found it for relatively cheap. And, uh, yeah, he, he, this was nice, and, uh, you can kind of count this in with one of the themes I talked about this year, and that is Masterpiece Sunstorm. So, I really like this guy. Um, he's pretty cool looking. The only problem is that. I don't know why it's done that, why it's like that. I don't think it's because of this. Um, I'm not seeing really any stress marks. I guess it's just that, uh, okay, now you don't want to get in. Great. Sorry, hold on. There we go. So, I don't know what's up with that, and honestly, wait. Never mind. Thought I fixed it somehow. Uh, honestly, it's fixable kind of thing. Just had some, something small in there. But yeah, uh, there's some things about this that I'm not a big fan of, but hey, it, it's a nice fur, it's a nice, it's, it's nice, I like it. The hands are a little weird for my liking, like, I can't bend these three fingers at all. I don't know why. Like, if I do, they're gonna pop out of the, the hinge. It's really dumb design-wise, but whatever. So yeah, Sunstorm, I really, actually really enjoy. Number six goes to three figures. Now, they're not the same mold, but they are in the same, similar line and they come from similar ways they are ko masterpiece sideswipe tracks and bumblebee so yeah um hold on let me find a way to hold all three yeah so i like these three um i will have to say sideswipe is my least favorite because i actually had to uh, do some things with them to make them work his tabs snapped um yeah, I was really mad. You should ask anybody who I talked to that night. I was not happy about Sideswipe the first attempt. But he does look really good, and I do enjoy him. I, I kind of want to go find the regular one. Plus, also, his gun doesn't fit in his fists. And if they do, they wiggle out all the time. So, whatever. Sideswipe is whatever. Bumblebee, I really enjoy for what how, how he is and what size he is. I really like that. And um, he's nice and little. His companion, the, the Daniel or Spike, if I can remember where I put it, I'll talk about that later. I don't much care for it. But, <clears throat> this guy, he's worth it. I think he's worth 20 bucks. So there's that. But Trax, I really love Trax. Um, he's just got this nice look. He was, for a good while, the cheapest masterpiece I could find. And I was going to get him, but it turns out he was also the cheapest KO. I don't know how that works. So, yeah, like subtraction, $30 anyway. But yeah, I really like tracks. I like this. I love the look of them. I love everything. There's a stand on them, and I use that stand for things. But yeah, I really, really love tracks and what they do with tracks. Um, there are, the, the backpack's kind of tricky, but whatever. I, I like tracks. So, yeah. It's the the three KOs masterpieces. Is, am I done with KOs? No, not at all. Number five comes to a good pal of mine. I bought it off of him. It's Generations Lugnut. Or, reveal the shields. Lugnut. Anyway, who gives a shit? It's Lugnut. So, yeah. Um, always wanted this figure because I really like the look of him. And the animated figure is okay. I played around with him. But this guy is 
clearly better in every feasible way. But yeah, he's just so, so gosh dang nice looking. I mean, just look, look at that guy. He's, he's mouth open. Hello, my name is Lundnot. Nice whatever. Uh, but yeah, I really like this guy, and uh, I love the look of him. Can't wait to use him in some stuff. Coming soon. Number four goes to a very interesting masterpiece figure that I uh, kind of wanted its repaint first for a certain video. But whatever. I got this guy, and really good. Masterpiece Ironhide. So yeah, um, I wanted the ratchet the, uh, for... Um, the, uh, the soup video. I wanted instead of Wheeljack to be Ratchet. But, you know, things things uh, don't always turn out the way they do. But I like the video nonetheless. Ironhide, I really like. Uh, the only things I have a problem with this guy is that I bought this off of one of my favorite uh, eBay sellers, Lena218288 or something. I forget. I'll put her in down there in the description uh, so you can go check. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna put everybody if you sold me a figure this year, I'm going to put your YouTube channel down there. If, uh, if I bought this off of a certain seller or a website or something, put it down there. So, hey. Uh, so, Ironhide, the only problem I have with him is the fact that um, his wrists here don't 100% tab in. They are wobbly. You can't really tell. Hold on. They don't stick in 100%. And uh, sometimes this always comes undone. Not always. But sometimes it just comes undone when you're playing it with it. And his face sometimes comes out, but I'm not going to... But it's, if you leave it there for a long time, it doesn't do anything. Also his legs. But overall, I love the look of this guy. And I think he really, really, really is a good masterpiece figure. And I would definitely recommend him. And plus also the best part, the best part about this figure... Is that he has tire blood? How? Instant buy, right there. He's got tires for an ass. I, I, I already see you. Sh you should be on TF Source or BBTS right now, putting this in your cart. Or John, I don't, I don't tell you know, how you live your life. Number three i've been waiting forever and whenever they announced this line i thought they should if they didn't do it i'd be mad combiner wars bruticus but not just combiner wars bruticus united warriors bruticus with the the perfect effects hands and feet the ko versions of them bruticus i loved for the longest time you know, there's some flaws, but I love this guy. He's Bruticus. I love Bruticus. But then this guy came in. Oh my god, I love him. He's just the best. I love, I love Bruticus. Uh, but this is honestly, in my humble opinion, the best Bruticus figure ever. I'm not lying. <laughs> I actually think it's that. The only quarrels I really have with it is that the fact that his, uh, his, uh, back turrets are not big enough but honestly that is just the most minor complaint you can go and find things for that you can make your own gun with that but oh, that also might be a problem not the knee bend thing just the fact that this thing will tab in all the way but yeah I'm glad and I'm glad Combiner Wars Bruticus is actually one of the best combiners they put out too from Hasbro at least I, I've seen a lot of people put Bruticus in their top list for what, you know, what Combiner Wars, what really shines on Combiner Wars. But this guy outshines even the faintest of light of Bruticus from Hasbro. I'm going to let him sit on, on Fort Max's everything for the rest of this video. It's almost done. Number two goes to a figure that, for a good while, was actually my number one figure because the engineering, the articulation, the aesthetic of this figure was phenomenal. It wasn't even from Hasbro or Takara. It was from Make Toys. Striker Madness. This figure is really 
really fucking fantastic. I'm gonna have to admit, it really is. Um, at first I was a little turned off because it kind of reminded me of Classics Optimus Prime, and I don't really like that mold at all. Truth be told, I just don't think it's that great. But, this guy really shined through. Um, I was rec uh, my good pal Joe Powell of Crosshairs Production, my good pa pal Dan Storm of Storm Media, they both got this at, uh, TF Nation this year, and they recommended it to all of us at Crosshairs Production Gang. And then I saw a lot of good reviews on this figure, so I thought I definitely need to go buy this. And I do not regret it one bit. It's impro it, it 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 really it really is it really is good. Um, there are almost no complaints I have about this thing. I I, I thought I had one, but I can't remember it. Uh, the only thing that's just a slight problem is that the gun here is kind of loose. But other than that, it's a really good figure. I really, really enjoy it. Where's that? Yeah. Sometimes I display this guy with the, um, Lost Age, whatever Takara called, uh, the Age of Extinctions line. The Lost Age Armor Knight Optimus Prime Sword. Because, first off, it kind of fits. Kind of. And... Number two, it just looks really good. The fact that the axes, the fact that the axes are his smokestacks is really cool too. Everything about this figure is great, but it's only got number two. So what could number one be? Well, it's... Haha, <laughs> a little cliffhanger for you for a minute. Um... I got enough figures this year that I actually hated some figures I bought and have great, great, um, regret from buying them. And I'm gonna just rock it around this for a minute. So, number one, go, and not, these aren't in any, like, you know, like, ranking order. This is just how I grab them right now. So the first figure I grabbed, God, I regret this thing. It was only, when it came out, three dollars. I can't get her, get her to work. It's fucking prime arachnid. I always heard people's complaints, and I never thought, oh, they're just, you know, they're they're just being dummies. No, I understand the hate with this. I'm throwing them in the floor. Um, yeah, here we go. Human Alliance, Sideswipe. Why is it just in car mode? Because I don't like the way it looks, and it's diff it's it's really weird to transform the guy. Honestly, this car mode looks nice. I'm glad I only paid 20 bucks for this, but then, that, then again, this is still, in my opinion, just a tad too much for this thing. But overall, I just don't... He's too fucking... And then, oh, I can't forget this guy. Armada Side... That's not Armada Side Swipe. That's, that's fucking Tread Shot. I'll put you right here, too. I didn't buy him this year. But here it is, Armada Side Swipe. I always heard people complain about this figure, too. But I never thought that was bad. No! I... <laughs> Ugh. Terrible. And number four, well, number four, yeah, the fourth one here, um, I can't find. And I, you, I talked about it earlier in this list. It is the, it's the masterpiece Daniel and Spike thing. I didn't know how to transform it at all. I didn't want to read the instructions, but I thought it was a really stupid, shitty toy to begin with. It didn't really work with me. It really wasn't that fun to work with. It was really, really flawed. Then the fifth one. The fifth one is Titan's Return Skull Smasher. Now, you have this figure, right, Larry? Are you sure about this? Why else are you putting it on the list? Why'd you grab something? Well, I want to tell you the name of the figure first. And why I think it's terrible before I show you why. Nothing worked on it for me. Like, all the joints was terrible. There was already stresses on it. Uh, the Headmaster did not work. It actually pulled the ball joint out of the headmaster every time I pulled it out. It was not a fun toy in my opinion. I always had to get pliers out to pull it out. And I thought opening it up and like fixing some stuff around it would fix it. Nothing. Nothing at all. I've talked with other people and they said this doesn't ha like, you know, it doesn't happen with theirs. But it's gotten me so disappointed in the figure that I don't even want to go find another one. But I do have it. But not all of it. I've used this I've used this uh, skull smasher like the ancient not the ancient 
the Native Americans used the buffalo. I've used basically every piece for something else. I've said earlier about the night beat thing, I used his I used his headmaster thing. I gave the headmaster to my good pal Zero One Trans fan because he likes the little headmasters. I took the elbow section and used it on one of my custom sound waves, which I'm not done with. I'll let you guys see that one day. One day. Um I don't know where the hands go, and I actually had to use the screws for something. Yes, I actually had to use three out of the four screws to keep this thing, this chest in, on something. The rest of it's here. One day we'll find a use for it. It just busted. Anyway, so that was my dishonorable list. Now we can turn back to your regularly scheduled program of what number one is. Number one. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. It really is the best figure ever. I'm not shitting you. Remember how last year I finally got MP10 and I really love that thing to death? And I still I still thank you, Nicholas, TF Five for One Productions. I still really thank you for that. Because that was actually everything I hoped for. But I hate to say it. Something trumped it. It's this Donald Trump action now. It's Masterpiece Soundwave. This figure is literal perfection. Like, every ounce of it is beautiful and fantastic. I love everything about it. It really is. And I'm not bullshitting you here. Everything about Masterpiece Soundwave is great. There is no problems I have with this guy. I bought this guy, just the Soundwave though, for 90 bucks on election day. Hmm, Donald Trump. Anyway, I bought it off a guy off of Facebook. Uh, the Cybertron Cafe. I'll link that if that's a... If that is closed group, then I won't link it. Or I might still link it. I don't know. So, Soundwave. Masterpiece Soundwave. Bought this guy. He didn't come with any cassettes. Don't worry. Got that figured out. Um... Uh, Masterpiece Laserbeak. I recently bought this off eBay for relatively cheap. K.O. Ratbat. Also cheap. And I bought this guy because I thought this was cool. It is a unpainted version of Masterpiece Laserbeak. And honestly, Laserbeak could be its... Could be, literally. Could... I'm not shitting you here. Could be its is also one of the best masterpieces. I would honestly rate this as the third best masterpiece figure. Because it's so... Everything about it works. And it's so cool. And I've tried this figure out with this guy. And I... I really wanted to take this everywhere I went. Because this thing was so neat and so well engineered. Rat Bat's okay. But Soundwave with them. Oh my god. I can't wait to buy the rest of these ma the cassettes. Now, I've heard there's a KO now, but now that I got this guy, he's great. There's, like I said, nothing I have problems with this guy. There is not a single thing. I can't think of anything. You may have seen that, but honestly, that's just a mild annoyance after every once in a while. Everything about this is great. <coughs> oh, God, I'm dying because of its beauty. I really do love this thing, and it really is, it is really great. I mean, I could always sit there and be like, oh, it needs, like, individual finger articulation. But honestly, I think that would be just too confusing for a Masterpiece figure. But everything about Masterpiece Soundwave is really good. I almost got tears in my eyes because talking about this thing. I know there's no real insight about this, but honestly, if you can find this guy, try it out. He really is the best. Like no one ever was. Why the hell is there no Voyager size version of this? There's a MP10 Voyager size. Why isn't this one yet? Because this would. This is honestly what I hope for in a Voyager toy. So, anyway, guys, this has been my top 16 figures of 2016. There were some honorable mentions and dishonorable mentions. 2016 was a, um, a, wait, a year. I've mentioned that before. It's actually been a really uh, interesting year for me and also a really rough year. Uh, what I mean by that, hopefully I'll be putting out a video soonish about why, what my whole year in review kind of thing is, what I think about my channel, what I think about everything outside of the world. Uh, 
I think it might be an interesting video. I do not know. Um, but we'll just take a look and see about it. Uh, it just depends on when I can get that out or whenever, if I can get that out or if I actually think it's a good video to do. But, uh, so yeah, um, no more updates really. Uh, well, yeah, there's some updates I'm going to be making in the near future. However, that's about all I got to say. So, thank you for watching this video, and um, have a good one. And uh, here's to 2017. Hopefully there's some better stuff. There's some new stuff. Um, what figure am I really looking forward to? Oh, yeah, MP Megatron. It's coming out. Uh, I'm ready for that guy. So, yeah, have a good one. I wonder. I wonder. That play button's here, right? Why am I not surprised?